I personally think no one should buy the Osmo Mobile 2 for a couple of reasons. Let me tell you why. First of all, what is the Osmo Mobile 2? Well, it's the second version of the phone stabilizer. I mean, it stabilizes other things, but it's mainly for the phone. It's a DJI stabilizer for your phone. The Osmo Mobile 2 is $130, which is a very, very hard sell, especially when you could get a tripod for $15. And this is just one of the main, main reasons the price on why not to get this device. The main thing that the Osmo Mobile 2 has over the Osmo Mobile 1 is that it supports portrait pictures and video. There is never a reason to film video in portrait because then you just can't use it for YouTube and it's just so bad. I mean, uh, people use it now for like Snapchat and Instagram stories, people are used to it. But overall, when you're actually going into your camera app, please don't shoot portrait video, that just, mm. This is terrible. So the Osmo Mobile 2 does have that over the Osmo Mobile 1. It could shoot portrait mode and it could also shoot in landscape, which then it could charge your phone because yes, the Osmo Mobile 2 has around like estimated 15 hours of battery life. It could support your phone. That's only if you're filming in landscape. So I totally recommend that you could charge your phone and you're filming the right way. Just trust me on that. There's many features on the Osmo Mobile 2 that a $15 tripod can't do. For example, yet again, it could charge your phone for up to 15 hours. So for example, DJI uses the example of you live streaming. I mean, I don't know who live streams, that's kind of overrated. But if you've been vlogging or shooting photos and videos all day with your phone, your phone is sure to be on that low percentage, 20%, 10%, starting to get to dead level. That's when the Osmo Mobile 2 is going to come in nice and handy. Is it necessary for your tripod to charge your phone? Not at all. And especially since you have to charge the tripod to charge your phone. So if you forget to charge your tripod, no, the stabilizer isn't going to work. Have you ever thought about that? You actually have to charge this thing unlike a little plastic $15 tripod. With the Osmo Mobile 2 comes the DJI app and that has some pretty nice features. For example, it has active track, so kind of like the DJI drones are transferring into the Osmo Mobile, which is, I mean, very smart, transfer the technology, make it a whole ecosystem within the company because DJI makes amazing drones. But onto the stabilizer, it has active track, which I mean, it tracks the subject from left to right so the stabilizer pans for your camera, which is pretty neat since you don't have to do any of the work and the camera just pans for you which is pretty nice for the little transitions or just a little follower shot in the back which is it's overall pretty good the app also allows for the regular panoramas and the regular time lapse but it also has two other types of time lapses which are pretty cool one of the two special time lapses is motion time lapse that is when you just set your phone on top of the tripod let it sit there and it pans from up to down or down to up or whichever way you want it's a motion time lapse so it's moving while it's getting a time Lapse, which is pretty cool. The other type of time lapse on this app is hyper time lapse. That's when you just set it up on a tripod and it zooms in into the subject, which is pretty cool. So while you're moving along, it kind of stays with the subject so you can get a hyper time lapse, which I mean, it's pretty cool. You can see the motion going around the subject while you're getting a time lapse. That's really it on the Osmo Mobile 2. I mean, it's a great $130 stabilizer for your phone, which supports portrait mode. It has an app, which you could record motion time lapses, hyper time lapses, regular time lapses, panoramas, and it could also charge your phone for up to 15 hours of battery life. The stabilizer is great, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it is worth the price of $130. The main market for the Osmo Mobile 2 is aspiring vloggers who are just using their phone to start and they're gonna upgrade to a DSLR or another camera later on until they move up the vlogging game. Trust me, I've been here. I'm using my phone right now to vlog to do everything because I don't have a DSLR just yet. Hopefully in the future it's gonna come. But as of right now, I don't. So I was looking for a tripod and I found this beautiful, just $15 simple tripod on Amazon. Just ship it here quickly and you don't don't have to mess around with charging it. I mean, the other features are cool, but you just need something that works. You don't want to go all the way to $130 when your camera, you could always put that money to a camera so you could save up for your DSLR. Phone cameras are getting better and better every single year. I mean, it's really blowing my mind and I mean, it's unbelievable. I can't wait to see what the Samsung S9 is going to do. Try to go over the Pixel 2 and the iPhone X in videos and photos. 
respectively. Phone cameras are getting good, especially the video. I mean, the iPhone X has 4K at 60, 4K at 24, and 4K at 30 frames per second. Many DSLRs don't even have those options. So I see why you're filming with your iPhone or another Android phone, such as the Pixel or the Samsung S or the Note series. I see why. Cameras are getting good on phones. And while you're still trying to learn how to film on your great, amazing capturing phone, you shouldn't spend $130 on a stabilizer when you could just spend $15 on a tripod and it'll kind of do the same thing when your OIS optically image stabilized camera inside your phone already stabilizes the footage. I mean, it doesn't do it this well to the extent of the Osmo Mobile 2, but it still does it pretty well. Don't get me wrong. The Osmo Mobile 2 does have some pretty nice features, but it's just not worth it for the aspiring new vlogger coming to the game, filming with their phone. They're not going to expend the $130 on a stabilizer when you could put that to a new camera. Just spend $15, $10, $20 on a simple tripod that is plastic. Yes, it's plastic. It's not as cool as this one. And it also doesn't have as many features, but it works. And that's what's important when you're starting to film. For me, I would save that $130 and put that to your next future camera and continue filming. I'd love to hear your opinion on the Osmo Mobile 2 in the comment section below. And while you're doing that, make sure you hit the little bell icon to stay notified whenever I post a video and while you're doing that, make sure you smash that subscribe button right here to stay informed and I'll see you in the next one.